All right, we're going to test the uh, auto takeoff function. So what we're going to do is just hold this button down. It says take off. And hold it down for about three seconds. Pressing down. I do. Takes off. Look at that. That is a solid hole. Well, a little bit of altitude loss there, but uh, pretty good for a uh, optical sensor. Bit uh, windy there. I would say about five, five miles per hour wind. Coming soon. That's the uh, optical sensor holding it. It's uh, it wobbles just a little, but it's holding its position and altitude. So, can I just try to flip again? I'll go one now. Side flip. Oh, look at them. <laughs> okay, side flip. Side flip. Forward flip. So you have to release the stick after you do a flip. If not, it'll just keep flipping. So if you want two flips, I'll go a bit higher up. Forward flip. Twice. Release. Got that one? Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, let me fly one more round and we're done. A little hot after a flight, the uh, motors, you can feel the heat there. And uh, this is the camera. Um, you can remove the camera and this is where the micro SD card is being inserted right here and the camera just fits right in here slot it in there you go we Box couldn't it. get the video to record on the first attempt so we're going to try that again and get back to you That is the optical sensor, that's pretty good um, for this grade of a uh, cockpit to include a optical sensor which be provides better altitude positioning hole if it's programmed that way. 
so it doesn't rely on the uh, barometric sensor. XK introduces their own little charging system. Basically, you have this LiPo battery and a cartridge that you just plug into this smart little port here. And then it's got a balance port, which you plug into a balance port charger. And that's it. And it stays red when you're charging, and when it's fully charged, the lights goes off. Included is the X8 a radio transmitter by XK, which is a pretty good one. And it looks like it's been modified to have two buttons. Um, this X8 has been used in the uh, GPS quadcopters such as the XK X500. And these switches here, it's been modified to buttons. It also comes with uh, 5.8 GHz as well as Wi-Fi, so we're going to try that.